All right. Hey, Honors Chemistry, one last video for part three of this worksheet. So now we're going to do part three, diamond and charcoal. And it looks like this data table is a lot better to record initial and final masses and volumes. This is really what the table in part two should look like. So if you were confused at the calculations or how I got like the mass of the oxygen used, I'm taking an initial and I'm taking a final and I'm subtracting final minus initial, kind of like delta T, change in temperature, is final minus initial. My change in mass or my mass used is final minus initial. So I'm really hoping that it wasn't confusing to record the masses before and after and getting the mass of oxygen used and the mass of phlogiston used. They're so gonna apply that similarly to diamond and charcoal. All right, so now we're gonna fill in this data table in part three and try and answer the question, how did the mass of gas formed compare if you use the same amount of diamond and charcoal. All right, so let's go to our laboratory. Diamonds have always intrigued people and they also have an important place in the history of chemistry. In the mid 17th century, Robert Boyle showed that when exposed to intense heat, a diamond appeared to disappear. Boyle's discovered discovery would mystify people for 100 years. In the 1700s, Stanislas Mallard offered three diamonds to be heated in a container that was free of air. After several hours, the diamonds were found to be red hot, but unaffected by the heat. Soon after Mallard's work, Antoine Lavoisier and Humphrey Davy helped to shed light on the nature of diamonds when they carefully burned them and collected the products formed. All right, so we're gonna explore the nature of diamond. All right, so we're gonna be burning 0.2 grams of diamond. So we're in the top left hand corner and we're in that first row, first row across, across. So massive oxygen, initial and final. So here's oxygen. Our initial mass of oxygen is 1.06 grams. So it looks like in my table where it says initial mass of oxygen, I'm putting 1.06 grams, All right? So initial mass of oxygen is 1.06 grams. For my volume, I'm putting 0.74 liters. So my initial volume of oxygen is 0.74 liters, okay? And now I have no product, no anything, no volume. Um, my diamond is 0.2 grams, so that's good, and I have nothing else, right? I know I have this junk over here, but I have my mass of oxygen is 1.06 grams, and my volume of oxygen is 0.74 liters, right? So that's initial, and I have no product initially, so I'm putting zero. Zero for my initial mass of product, and zero for my volume, of initial volume of product. Now I'm going to burn it. So I'm burning it, burning it, burning it, okay? And I collected the gas and all of the diamond disappeared, so I burned all of it. Now I'm gonna put my final mass of oxygen, I'm gonna do that first, so now we go back. So just in case you can't see what I'm doing, I'm gonna go back, now I'm doing final mass of oxygen. So for my final mass of oxygen, it's 0.53 grams. So for my final mass of oxygen, it's 0.53 grams, it looks like half of it. Right, so 0.53 grams. And then my final volume of oxygen is 0.37 liters. So still kind of looking like half, right? So 0.37 liters. And then my mass of product is 0.73 grams. So it looks like it's the other half of the oxygen, okay? So 0.73 grams of product and 0.37 liters of product, right? So I have 0.37 liters of product. We just burned 0 0.20 grams of diamond and got the data for the first row. Now let's burn 0.4 grams of diamond, all right? So my initial mass of oxygen is again 1.06 grams. And my initial volume of oxygen is 0.74 liters. By the way, if I'm going too fast, you could always pause the video and make sure you're able to record this information. Okay, so I got my initial 
mass and volume of oxygen. I have no product. Now I'm going to burn the 0.4 grams of diamond. I wonder what's going to happen. Okay. Now my mass of oxygen final is zero. So I have no oxygen left over. So my mass of oxygen final is zero. If I have no mass, we know by the density equation or the density slope, I should have no volume. I have no mass and no volume of oxygen left over. So zero, zero for final mass and final volume of oxygen for the 0.4 grams. I have 1.46 grams as my massive product finally. So 1.46 grams of my massive product finally. Now remember, initially I had no product, so that was zero, zero, and now I have 1.46. And now for my volume, I have 0.74 liters. Okay, so 0.74 liters is my final volume of product. All right, now we're gonna move on to the next columns or next set of rows. Now we're gonna do charcoal. We're gonna do the 0.2 grams of charcoal, 0.4 grams of charcoal, and then you should be able to answer the questions. So let's do 0.2 grams of charcoal. Okay, so initially for my mass of oxygen, it's 1.06 grams and I have no product. And there's my 0.2 grams of charcoal. And I have 0.74 liters initially of oxygen. And I have no volume and no mass of product. I'm gonna burn it. And now we're gonna record our final measurements. All right, so my final measurement is 0.53 grams is my final mass of oxygen. And 0.37 liters is my final mass, oh sorry, final volume of oxygen. And then for my product, 0.73 grams is my massive product final. And 0.37 liters is my volume of product final. And then finally, let's burn 0.4 grams of charcoal. So again, initially we start with 1.06 grams of oxygen. And initially 0.74 liters of oxygen. And I'm going to burn it. Oops, I hit the wrong button. And I'm going to burn the substance. Come on. Burn the substance. And just so you know, now we're in the last set. Last set of rows. I got my initial mass and my initial volume of oxygen already. It's the same as the other four, other three. And so now we're going to get our mass of oxygen after. I have zero. So I have, I used all of my oxygen. So I have zero grams of oxygen left over. And I know if I have zero grams, I should have zero liters of oxygen final. So for final, I should have mass of oxygen zero. And final, my volume of oxygen is zero. And then for my mass of my product, I have 1.46. So for my mass of product, I have 1.46. And for my volume of product, I have 0.74 liters. Okay, so now what I want you to do is look at your data, try and do a little bit of the math of how much mass did I use and compare it to your mass of product. So do your final minus initial and compare it, your mass of your oxygen before and your mass of product after. Compare that. Look at the ratios. And how did the mass of gas form to compare if you use the same amount of diamond and charcoal? Okay. So once you look at that data, then I would like you to try and answer the questions for the concept questions one through three. Okay. So I have posted all three videos or I will have all three videos posted. Hopefully that is helpful in trying to answer the questions in the worksheet if you do not have access to the virtual laboratory. If you have any questions or concerns on how to fill in this data table, I have no problem posting a video on trying to help you fill in this data table. And we will go over this in the new year on January 8th and 9th, 2018.